Funniest people of Walmart. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Dude, what, what am I doing with my hands? Am I Kung Lao from Mortal Kombat? What is this? Kung Lao wins. Anyway guys, have you ever shopped at Walmart? Okay, because if you have, you are bound to have seen some of the strange people that inhabit the facility. Now we don't have Walmart in South Korea from what I know, but you know, during my time back in the States, I distinctly remember well, you know, some definitely memorable people. If you guys are included in some of these photos, I sincerely apologize. I'm not laughing at you, I'm laughing with you. All right, number one, and oh my gosh, dude, what the? Is this a woman or a, a, a man or? Oh God, it's a woman. Oh my gosh, that's her shirt. Okay, thank you. Wow, dude, even the little girl has to look away. Nobody wants to look at that. What is wrong with this woman? Is this the mom or the grandma or the crazy old sister? How in the world is this appropriate? Dude, her shirt is so low. I mean, that's not the only thing that's really low. Oh my God, I shouldn't have looked. Okay, you know what? Let's just move on to the next photo. Fantastic Mr. Fox. Okay, really dude, so, what? If he just had the hat on, I would understand. That's not so bad. But this dude really has a tail attached to his butt. Oh my goodness. And he's got like the little fox feet attached to the back of his calves. What is going on? By the way, apparently he likes juicy fruit. Just saying. Guys, have you seen this guy? I mean, like literally, have you seen him in Walmart or, or anywhere? Dude, what planet is this guy from? Are we being visited by aliens? Do aliens love to visit Walmart? I swear, dude. Ho okay, yep, confirmed. Alien confirmed. What time? period is this woman from? I feel like this woman never got out of the 70s, dude. It must have been like her era and she just couldn't let it go. Now, oh, speaking of let it go, it kind of looks like Frozen. Let it go, let it go. Okay, I'm not singing that. Hogwarts is Walmart, dude. Yes, it actually looks like something from Harry Potter. Like this woman is about to cast a spell, you know, shopping with all her groceries, of course, but she's about to cast a spell on this girl right here. She's like, hey, I'm gonna cast a spell on you. Uh, no, I'm okay. Really, you don't wanna turn into a toad? No, I'm really fine. Well then. On a serious note, guys, what kind of hat is she wearing? Is it a, a religious thing or just a costume party gone wrong? Or maybe she forgot it's not Halloween? You tell me, okay? You guys do the research. <sighs> Dude, this guy must have eaten so much and caused so much of a disturbance at Walmart that they had to not only hire the county police, but also the state police. Dude, this is a state trooper right here. Well, guys, come on. It's Walmart. You can't be that surprised, okay? All right, next up. Wow, this is one blinged out ride. I'm taking my time on my ride. This guy has literally every trinket from, you know, aisle 13. And aisle 13 from what it looks like is definitely the veteran aisle, AKA America aisle. Dude, he's got American, you know, sprinklers. No, not sprinklers, spinny wheel thingies. What are they called? He's got Captain America. He's got a little American flag here. Another American flag here. He's got an American parrot. Well, I think one thing's clear. Either this guy, you know, is one of the most famous veterans in America or he's Captain America's grandfather. I have no words, guys. Honestly, I'm losing more and more hope for humanity. The farther along this list we go, what in the world is this, guys? Who is, what is this? What are you showing me here, guys? Seriously, is this a joke? Come on, you have a midget in a balloon costume who can't even see properly pushing a cart. And how much cola does he need, dude? Seriously, put the cola back. That's a waste of cola. At least it's not Pepsi. Is this someone's kid or, you know what? No, don't try and figure it out. Terry, it's Walmart. Okay, the world will never know. All right, next up, we uh, we got a mom who's uh, handcuffed her son to the cart. I mean, hey, that's one way to keep an eye on your kid. When you're shopping with your kid, you know, sometimes they run off and you lose them in the supermarket. I've been lost at the supermarket. You know, I couldn't find my mom for two hours. It's happened to everybody. I wish my mom would have handcuffed me to the cart. Yeah, that's great. Psycho. Oh my, oh, are the, those are her, those are her toenails. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And the last one, okay. <laughs> this one's actually kind of funny, kind of understandable, embarrassing, but yeah, it looks like this kid was bad and we got the uh, papa, mama over there, bigger brother who's the good one, I guess. This is the little troublemaker and it says, I am a liar. Apparently he did something bad, Um, he lied. I'm very grateful now, guys, because my parents have never done anything like handcuff me to, to a shopping cart or make me wear a sign that says I'm a liar. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, 
people at Walmart. Well, there you have it, guys. Those were some of the funniest people from Walmart. I don't really know what to say other than my hope for humanity has utterly been lost. I say that every time, guys. Every time I see one of these lists or photos or whatever, my hope for humanity just goes down a little bit more. But hey, guys, it's Walmart. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button for more terrible videos like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Good night.